And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League. The group stage, match day one action. It is Wren up against Manchester United. Well, cheers, Derek. These home fans are going to enjoy this. They surely must. With a team coming as big as this to your club, make sure you don't let yourself down. Don't let those fans down. Don't let your families down. Really, really give it everything you've got. match if you like wingers you'll love this league yeah absolutely i love to watch a winger play especially with pace and power the central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal the support will be provided by the three central midfield players the back four is pretty conventional but the full backs will be asked to support from behind Manchester United have chosen this particular shape and they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely, that takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one underway. Promising pass. Good looking sequence. Traore. Aguer. Will he play it in? There's a slide rule pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Shot. Fred. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, great read there to intercept. Tight. It's with Bouligo. Excellent defending. couldn't maintain possession Eduardo Camavinga and it's with Inzonzi now can he finish this? what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick is a defender's job to come to the rescue a good looking move now what can they do from here it's with Bouligo and space for the cross but 
Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. In Zonzi. The possession lost. Intercepted. And breaking at pace with Menace. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Doku. And Zonzi. Terrier. Untidy in possession. Jaden Sancho. Here's Juan Bissaka. United might be able to cash in. Jaden Sancho. Cavani. Can he put it in? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. So back underway in this game, Manchester United with the advantage. Well, as you can see, United haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Breaking at pace. Tight. Alert defending. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Into the advanced position. Tight. And a chance to whip it in here. In Zonzi. Eduardo Camavinga. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Scott McTominay. Harry Maguire now. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Aguirre. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Kamavinga. And Zonzi. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And just like that, they've lost possession. Fred. Vous recherchez un maillot collector, une tasse à l'effigie d'un joueur ou des articles d'une collection précédente. Cavani. La boutique est plus grande que vous ne le pensez. Scott McTominay. Demandez leur nom impossible. Le miracle se produira peut-être. Edinson Cavani now. Ce qu'il nous reste à faire. It's Cavani going forward this time. Fred. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Bruno Fernandes, not showing good vision. 
It's a fine United move in the making. Cavani. Sancho. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Scott McTominay. Sancho. Cavani. Using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there. And he takes on the shot. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Jaden Sancho. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Cavani. Saka Cavani McTominay and here's Fred Sancho well read to put an end to that attack Bruno Fernandes and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here it is again. It looks a simple goal. He gets in a position not that far out from goal, but he has to hit the target. He does that, and it's in the back of the net. Going their way, 2 0. But to Manchester United, the number 18, Bruno Fernandes. Just 10 minutes to go. And on the second half here, and it's almost Lee a case of whatever they've touched has turned to goals. Well, for United, the creative teamwork has all come together tonight. The players are all on the same hymn sheet. The flow, the movement, it's been brilliant. Fred it's with McTominay couldn't keep it and they continue to advance and a lot of options here oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up just going to be a double substitution Girassi. And it's with Inzonzi now. Juan Bisaka. Jaden Sancho. They've got it now. What can they do? Able to deal with the threat. One minute remaining. Bruno Fernandes. And that brings the action to its conclusion. You've got to say, Lee, a horrible night at the office. That's the last thing you need. Start of the qualifying stages. You don't need a zero point, Sally. You almost need memory loss now to forget about that. Down to five games to qualify. Well, a strong contribution, as we've come to expect from Bruno Fernandes. Lee, interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. 